day and welcome to our fourth Sunday in Advent as we look forward to the coming of Christmas and the birth again of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. I am glad you're with me this day to celebrate the good news of our faith. And as we gather this day, I ask you to share with me our call to worship. And it came to pass as the angels were going away from them into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And when they had seen it, they had made known abroad, saying, Which was told them concerning this child. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it was told unto them from Luke's Gospel. And as we gather this day, we share together a word of welcome, a word of well-being, of saying hello, of sharing peace. That is the Shalom of Christ, the single word that Jesus uttered at the resurrection when he met Mary Magdalene and greeted her. Shalom. May that Shalom be yours this day, let us share together, Shalom, Shalom in Christ. And as we gather this day to light the Shalom candle, the peace candle, we also are, as I said, the fourth Sunday of Advent, and we light the fourth Advent candle. That the light of God is showing each day for us, that guides us as, as the star guided the Magi to the manger of Bethlehem. And we also light that candle, the Shalom candle, that tells us of Christ's presence, Christ's peace, Christ's love for us. Amen. I invite you now to share with me our prayer of preparation for this Sunday. Let us pray together. Father, 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 hear our prayer. Incline thine ear to us and grant us peace. We come before you in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on those who do not know the way of truth. Have mercy on those who want to do harm. Have mercy on those seeking the light of truth. Grant wisdom and understanding. Surround them with your grace, mercy, benevolence, goodness, patience, and love. Continue to strengthen us. Continue to allow your light to shine in us. This we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.
This scripture lesson this Sunday is from Mark's Gospel, the first chapter, beginning at the first verse. It says this, The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending a messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, Make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thorn of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came down from heaven you are my son, my beloved, with you I am pleased. May God add blessings to the reading of his word and blessings to those who hear this word and transform the written and spoken word into the living word in their hearts and minds and spirits. As I mentioned in these past couple weeks, there are four stories of beginnings in the Gospel. The one in John's Gospel that begins at the creation of the light coming into the world. The Word of God, the Word being that light, that was at the very beginning. It is a Christmas story that Christmas began at the very creation. There are two other stories, two accounts, in Matthew and Luke, of the birth of Jesus, of his coming into the world through Mary, his mother. And then in Matthew, it tells of Joseph's story at that time, of his saving Jesus from death by taking him to Egypt as the first Joseph did to save his family when he took them into Egypt. It is a Christmas story of salvation. And then in Luke's Gospel, it's Mary's story of how she received the angel Gabriel, received good news, and that her soul magnified the Lord, a poem of love, the grace of God within her. Mark's Gospel is a fourth account 
it is a much simpler account. It begins at a different time. But it's a story of beginning. As the passage says, there's a reading from Isaiah. I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. Talking about John the Baptist. That's the reference understanding in Isaiah, the percussion. But Isaiah, that John the Baptist was a messenger to prepare the way. He had a message of repentance, of forgiveness. And John was a baptizer. He immersed people in the water, the Jordan River, to bring them cleanliness, healing, salvation from their sins. But then his cousin Jesus came unto him from Galilee in Nazareth. And this is a beginning story also, and if you will, a story about Christmas, of something being transformative. He comes to John to be baptized, not for forgiveness of sins, to be baptized by immersion to begin his ministry. That when he was baptized, that was his this moment of transformation, his moment of ordination, of beginning his ministry and his sharing the good news of salvation. We in the Christian faith have two observances. One is our Lord's Supper, to remember his death and dying. The other is baptism, which is more than just being baptized for the washing away or the forgiveness of sin. That in that moment of baptism, we are asked a question. Is Jesus your personal Lord and Savior? And upon our affirmation by saying yes, the minister says, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we are immersed in the water and brought up. It is our ordination. It is our beginning. If you will, our personal Christmas of our being part of the priesthood of all believers. It is a time of beginning, a time of celebration, a time of hope and transformation. That each of the stories is again, as I've said, about a beginning, a time for new life, but not a time for joy, faith, hope, and love. This Christmas, may the word be with you. And may God's proclamation be to you. This is my beloved child, in whom I am well pleased, each of us. And to hear the good news, for unto us a child is born, and unto us a Savior is given. God bless you and keep you as a journey in the coming week to the celebration of the birth of Christ, Christ this Christmas Day. God bless you and keep you until we meet again. Amen. As we gather for prayer this day, I invite you to lift up the good news of Christ's birth for you. To remember those who are in need of prayer, prayer for body, mind, and spirit, and prayers of thanksgiving that our God in Christ has been with us to guide us through these times, and that we are sharers of the good news, the good news of the birth of Christ, the good news of the beginning of the Word for us, and the baptism of Christ began his ministry to us even unto this day.
Let us pray. Gracious God, caring God, creating God, loving God, we, your children who are made in your image, who share your likeness within ourselves, that your spirit has come to us at our birth, by the very breath we took. In this season of Advent, dear God, we look forward to the good news of the Messiah, the Christ, of Jesus, your beloved Son, being born again for us and again coming to us to share his life, his witness, and his presence with us in our journeys. In this Advent, we pray the angels sing glory to God in the highest and on earth good news to each of us. Help us to hear, listen, and share that your grace is with us, Christ walks with us, and the Holy Spirit empowers us with him. Be with us, again, for those in need, help, and healing. Be with us as we journey to celebrate the light coming to the world on Christmas Day. Be our guide, be our presence, be our help, and be our keep each and every day. This we ask in Christ's name. Amen. I invite you now to share with me the prayer Jesus taught us to pray, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Have a joyous week this coming week, and next Sunday is Christmas, and there will be a meditation service for you on Christmas Sunday. God bless you, God keep you, God watch you, watch over you, until we meet again. And I invite you now to share a benediction from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. Go in peace. Amen. <laughs>